Chapter 5. Safety of Flexitarian Diet. Welcome to our channel. Food as Medicine. You are what you eat. The flexitarian diet has been considered safe and a good diet plan for a lot of people. The flexitarian diet enables people to reap various benefits of a vegetarian diet while still eating meat sparingly from time to time. Many people have adopted the flexitarian diet, especially because there are no strict rules or guidelines to follow. The diet is designed for everyone who intends to eat a more nutritious and balanced diet but doesn't want to eliminate meat and animal products. The diet's emphasis is less about the limitation and removal of food groups and more about adding various plant foods since plants offer protection against diabetes, cancer, and several other health conditions due to their vitamins, micronutrients, and antioxidants, minerals, and phytochemicals. The US News & World Report ranked the flexitarian diet as number two in best diets overall with an overall score of 4.1, 5.3. Also, even an expert, Chrissy Carroll, Road, MPH, asserted that the flexitarian diet is focused on plant-based eating with flexibility for intake of animal products in moderation. Globally, various dietitians and nutrition experts have stood solidly behind this type of eating plan because of nutrient-dense foods, flexibility, and high chances of sustainability. When following a flexitarian diet, the focus is on eating more vegetarian meals, incorporating meat-based meals throughout the week. However, the key is to focus on eating vegetarian meals while eating meat in moderation from time to time. Studies assert that naturally increasing the consumption of plant-based foods, which are rich in nutrients for the general improvement of health, will increase the consumption of vegetarian meals. In the absence of complete restrictions on any foods, many people find it easier to stick with the flexitarian diet for a long time than other highly restrictive eating plans. There are no specific recipes to adhere to while on a flexitarian diet. A person is free to experiment with all food groups and vegetarian recipes rich in plant-based foods to fit their meatless days. Also, there's no specific timing for eating meals when following a flexitarian diet. Additionally, people with weight loss goals can hugely benefit from following this diet. Jackson Blattner's book outlines a 300-calorie breakfast, 400 calorie for lunch, and 500 calorie for dinner, including two 150 calorie snacks between meals. However, there may be a need for slight adjustments to this plan if a person needs a higher or fewer number of calories to meet their weight loss goals. The diet makes it easier to enjoy various health benefits without following any specific schedule or calorie requirements. However, if a person has dietary restrictions or food allergies, it is easy to find suitable adjustments while following the flexitarian diet. Some of the few helpful suggestions to curb allergies on this diet are. Use non-dairy alternatives for milk, yogurt, and cheese. Choose gluten-free grains, such as quinoa and brown rice, and ensure that other gluten-free food choices. Limit the intake of tofu and any other soy-based foods, such as edamame or soy milk. The flexibility of this diet enables people to make certain modifications and exceptions to meets their individual nutritional needs while following the flexitarian diet. Below are some pros and cons of a flexitarian diet. Pros and cons of a flexitarian diet. Pros. It quickly makes room for individual preferences. It is budget-friendly. It emphasizes the consumption of nutritious foods. It supports healthy weight loss. It helps reduce the risk of diabetes. It is highly sustainable. Cons. It can lead to low iron intake. It can be challenging for regular meat eaters to stick to. It requires professional guidance for those with diabetes. There are various benefits associated with a flexitarian diet, and people can design the diet to fit their nutritional needs, health, and taste preferences. However, like all other diets, it may also have a few drawbacks and caution. Pros. General nutrition. The flexitarian diet incorporates all food groups, making it relatively easier to meet all of a person's nutrient needs while following this diet, especially with a little focus on ensuring an adequate iron intake. A stricter vegetarian and vegan diets may be deficient in vitamin B12 and omega-3 fatty acids, particularly DHA which is primarily found in fish, and a study published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics asserted more than 50% of vegetarians in a group reported a zero intake of DHA. 
However, a flexitarian diet allows people to consume fish regularly and achieve an optimal nutrient balance. Flexibility. The flexitarian diet doesn't eliminate any food group, but it emphasizes increasing the intake of plant-based foods and reducing the overall consumption of animal products. Therefore, it is easier to make adjustments and plan meals to suit personal tastes and preferences. It reduces risk of diabetes. Following a flexitarian diet may help reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, and three different studies. One from 2009 in diabetes care, another from 2011 in nutrition, metabolism, and cardiovascular diseases, and the last one from 2014 in Nutrition Journal, asserted that a semi-vegetarian diet is linked with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes, as compared to non-vegetarian diets. Also, a study in clinical nutrition research showed that semi-vegetarian women had lower serum levels of glucose and insulin, and the study suggests that flexitarians tend to have a lower body mass index, BMI, and reduced rates of obesity. Thus for losing or managing weight and improving general health, most people can follow and sustain a flexitarian diet safely for life. Weight loss. Numerous studies have speculated that semi-vegetarian diets are linked with lower body weight. In 2015, a study in clinical nutrition research showed that postmenopausal women on a semi-vegetarian diet had lower body weight, body mass index, BMI, and body fat percentage compared to non-vegetarian women. In 2014, another study in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics asserted that semi-vegetarians had lower rates of obesity when compared to non-vegetarians. Cost. This eating plan does not require expensive meal replacements or unique recipes. Instead, people can choose meals that suit their budget for food. Even when a person spends more weekly on produce, it may not be as expensive as paying it each week. Cons. It can lead to low iron intake. A study on Australian women found that semi-vegetarian women experience an increase in low iron levels, iron deficiency, and anemia compared to non-vegetarian women. However, depending on how frequently a person includes meat in their diet, people may need to ensure that more plant-based sources of iron are added while following a flexitarian diet. Plant sources of iron are leafy greens, lentils, soy, seeds, beans, and whole grains. Need for extra guidance. Research has linked a flexitarian diet with a reduction in the risk of diabetes. However, people with diabetes may need additional guidance when following this diet since several plant-based sources of protein, such as beans and lentils, are also rich in carbohydrates. A person may have a higher total carbohydrate count on meals, which can affect their blood sugar levels. Therefore, if you have diabetes and intend to follow a flexitarian diet, it is advisable to consult with a registered dietitian who can help design a meal plan that suits the appropriate carbohydrate counts and your nutritional needs. It may be challenging for daily meat eaters. People who grew up in a meat-eating household may find it hard to switch to eating more vegetarian or plant-based meals. Nevertheless, the flexitarian diet makes room for people to adopt a lifestyle that suits an individual, such as going meatless for two days a week and enjoying meat and other animal products on the other days. People's daily caloric needs may differ depending on activity level, sex, height, weight, age, and several other factors. However, studies have linked eating more whole and unprocessed foods, such as fruits and vegetables, plant-based fats and proteins, whole grains, fish, legumes, seeds, and nuts, to an improvement in health, promotion of weight loss, improvement of heart health, reduction of risk for chronic diseases, such as cancer and type 2 diabetes. The flexitarian also supports moderate meat consumption as an integral part of a healthy and balanced diet. If you are enjoying this video, please, subscribe to our channel. Subscription is totally free. By pressing the subscribe button. Also, hit the notifications bell so that you will always be notified of new content on our channels. Some health risks associated with a flexitarian diet. Although there are no health risks linked with a flexitarian diet, some studies have highlighted a possible relationship between a semi-vegetarian diet and depression. However, it's best to know that as linked to depression does not mean that a semi-vegetarian diet necessarily causes depression. There may be several other factors that contribute to that. The flexitarian may contribute to an eating disorder in some people. 
Still, a group of scientists is urging people to adopt a flexitarian lifestyle to fight climate change, promote food sustainability and reduce pollution in the ecosystem. So, eat right. Eat wisely. Be healthy. And be happy. Here ends this video on dieting and weight loss. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series. Food is medicine. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Goodbye. See you again soon.